guys, welcome back. Harley Day Rider here once again. Today we are leaving, well, we probably won't be leaving, well, I guess maybe we're leaving southwestern Pennsylvania. And we're heading up into northern Pennsylvania. Starting our seven, maybe eight day road trip here into the New England states. We hope to make it up around Scranton today, up past State College. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Am I nervous? Well, you know, I couldn't tell you that I'm not nervous. I know a lot of you guys are seasoned riders. A lot of you guys have been doing this kind of stuff all your lives. This is my first ever road trip on a, on a motorcycle. So, we'll see how it goes. I can tell you one thing. Just taking enough clothing, and I don't know what you pack, but what I packed for seven days, I filled both saddlebags on the back and the trunk. And I can tell the bike is definitely weighed down. So I gave the air shocks a little bit more weight in the back. And I, I pumped them up a little bit to give it a better ride, but you can still feel that it is definitely uh, weighed down in the back there. So, But I think once we get on the highway, we'll probably be all right. So I'm heading down to the rally point here to meet Ray. You guys have seen Ray in some of my past videos. So I'm going to meet Ray, uh, you know, and it's funny when you go on a road trip like this because you're double checking everything, you know. I even took my bags back out and said, do I get my medicine? You know, I take a high blood pressure pill. You'd hate to have high blood pressure when you're on a, on a ride, you know. But, um, so hopefully everything's going to uh, be just fine. It looks like for the time being anyway, I watched the weather coming in this morning. It looks like for the time being we're ahead of the weather. So that's a positive thing. Um, but nerves, nerves and why are you nervous? I mean, you've been riding, I ride all the time. You know, this is just, a, you're pushing your body to ride a, a further distance than you've ever ridden before. Uh, today, it looks like today is about, I said the other day, like 400 miles. It looks more like probably about 350 if we make it to where we want to make it. So we'll see how that works out. You know, I think the, your rear end's going to tell you how far you can go. Uh, you know, very hard leaving the wife, uh, leaving my wife that long. I'm, we've been apart, you know, four or five days at a clip, but seven or eight, you know. But I probably need this. I need a break. I need a break from work. I, you, know, you know, you always need a little vacation from work. And we've been talking about this, geez, for, well, you guys know, two years. We've been chit-chatting about this and uh, going on this trip. So, um, you know, this is just the start today. And then depending on how, you know, the, the wireless and stuff is in the different hotels we're going to be staying at will determine it will determine uh, how much video I can upload for you guys to see. Oh, I did want to mention, make sure, if nothing else, make sure you're watching my blog. And that blog is harleydayrider, all one word, dot com. harleydayrider.com. I am going to be, you know, I can post there from my phone. So I can uh, put a picture or two up and uh, put stuff on there from my telephone, my, my, my old trusty iPhone. And uh, be able to share that with you that way, give you little write-ups about where we're at, you know, what we're doing. I do plan on, you know, the highlight, one of the highlights of this trip, I get to meet crazy cool New Yorker. If everything works out right, we're going to be uh, on time to meet crazy cool New Yorker and maybe the best 1A. So we might have a chance to meet up also. Uh, he has to work on Sunday, so I got to hit the time just right in the morning there so we can be there to meet him. And then I guess those guys are going to ride with us a little while as we uh, mosey up the road uh, heading to New Hampshire, Vermont, one of those. I don't know. My geography is about as good as it can be. <laughs> you know, anyway. But I do have to get used to the weight of the bike here. I, I think I got her balanced out pretty good. Part of, part of motor vlogging and riding is when you go on road trips like this, 
you know, you're taking a lot of electronics with you. You're taking your laptop with you. You got cameras with you. Uh, you got charging cords, all that kind of stuff. So you're taking a lot of different stuff with you. And uh, that's a lot of additional gear to pack onto a bike. I did see coming back from South Carolina last week, I seen a, uh, it was pretty cool actually. I seen a, a guy and a woman on a uh, Ultra, Electric Glad Ultra. And they were pulling a trailer behind them. So, you know, I figure that, that's always an option. You can pull a trailer behind you and haul your stuff. But I think the fun, I think one of the fun or the joys of riding, uh, you know, taking a road trip is seeing what the hell you can put on your bike. You know, seeing how you can stack your bike up and uh, see how that's going to work out. So, and uh, I, I told my wife, I just pray that my laptop's going to be okay, you know, where it is. Everything's so scrunched on the bike right now, but, you know, clothes you can scrunch up. Electronics, not so much. Electronics, you're going to have trouble scrunching up. <laughs> they don't want to bend, you know. Maybe somebody needs to invent a bendable laptop screen or something where it will just bend and not break. So, who knows? Better quit chit-chatting and get moving. I'm not going to be uh, recording along the highways. I think that's kind of, uh, you know, you probably don't want to see that anyway. That way I don't have to worry about if it rains or not uh, because the camera will be tucked away uh, in, the, in the touring pack. So I don't really have to worry about that at all. Um, you know, we'll be recording more in the areas where we are. You know, like definitely uh, when I meet up with Crazy Cool, we're going to be recording that for sure. Uh, I do got my Cena. Ray Ray refuses to wear a Cena. I bought a, a dual pack, but he refuses to wear a Cena, so that's okay. We'll do, we're going to old school with Ray. Uh, and I've never done this before, guys, so I don't know what old school is. I'm a new school kind of guy. I like to chit chat when I'm riding. You know that. Nice sailboat there. Yeah, I like to chit chat when I'm riding, and uh, Ray, uh, Ray would rather not. So we talked the other day about choices of helmets for, uh, for, for touring when you're going out on the road. But my choices of helmets, uh, I, did, I do have the full face helmet obviously on right now because I'm recording and I do have the half helmet in the touring pack. Uh, just in case we're riding around, maybe we just want to relax or you know, I like to throw it on if I'm going to run to get something to eat. You know, you're not going to record everything. So that's, that's the case there. Anyway, so we'll get out here and meet Ray. If this truck don't like run out of here and kill me. That's cool that you see me. You wouldn't want to start off a, a trip day one and be uh, not here anymore. That would be hard to stomach. So anyway, I don't know how many of you guys. I know Sean Smoke does it every year. Sean Smoke, um, Tripwex Deadhead. I know those guys are all, you know, both married and they, they get on their bikes and they go out with the guys and they go for a seven day road trip or so and have a great time. So I'm just not seasoned, I guess, you know. But we'll make it. Maybe, possibly, believe it or not, my wife probably need, need, needs a break from me. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Jack, you know, that can't be true. Nah, she probably does need a break away from me. So. She'll get a hell of a lot of shopping in this week anyway, and she'll be able to go out whenever she feels like it. And, uh, that's a good thing. You know, what was that song before? Everybody needs a little time away. Yeah, I heard you say, yep, yeah, I'm not a singer. And please don't come there and like, Jack, don't sing anymore. Shut the hell up. <laughs> that wouldn't be cool. Anyhow. So we're going down to uh, Midway here. No, not Midway of the trip. Just Midway.
midway between here and McDonald, Pennsylvania. That's where I'll be meeting Ray. I went down, filled the tank up this morning. Get that all done. Like I said, after you get used to the weight of the bike. The new windshield seems to be working out. I was a little pissed last night. I thought I scratched it using a uh, paper towel, which I know that's stupid as you can be. Uh, so what I did now, I bought, and we're going to see how they work, I bought some Windex electronic wipes. So we'll see if those will clean the windshield. Uh, you know, I didn't want to carry a bottle of anything. Matter of fact, I got a bottle of water in the tour pack. I hope that stuff don't spill, but the lid's on it. But, uh, I bought the, uh, the, they're like wet wipes for electronics, but they're made by Windex, so I told my wife, maybe, maybe they'll work. I didn't want to carry a bottle of Windex. So we'll see how that goes. But anyhow, we'll be able to show you some nice scenery. Uh, then I guess, not too long, mid-July, mid I'm supposed to meet uh, Mike Kilby 7. He's coming up this way, so... Uh, this is going to be a nice summer for meeting motive loggers. <laughs> and guys, it's on my bucket list to, to meet a lot of you out there. Or even not motive loggers. Even just guys that watch these videos that maybe you don't vlog. Uh, if I'm in your area, by all means, you know, we'll get together and maybe go for a ride. Uh, I'm always up for a ride, that's for sure. And once I learn how to do this touring stuff, I think I'll be a lot better off. Um, but hey... Ouch! Nice bumps there. You can tell the suspension's uh, pumped up. It's a little hard because you hit that bump, you really feel it. Uh, when you pump those suspensions up with that pump, they told me anyway at the Harley shop, you're firming up the shock so you can carry the extra weight. That's what I wanted to do was firm it up a little bit. And my wife, I told her, I don't know if I can carry all this weight. She goes, well, you carry me. I got to be heavier than all that luggage. I said, oh, man, I don't know. It's close. It's close because this luggage is pretty damn heavy. Ah, anyway. Here's another morning biker. Hopefully that's not, yeah, that won't be Ray. Alright, so we're going to get on here, we're going to pop the camera off the helmet, that's my plan. And then, and then and only then, we're going to get back on the road. He's already here, drinking coffee. Drinking coffee already. That's it. And there's the bikes. You don't think? <laughs> 